Hi guys, welcome back to Karenia's Corner. I am back with a new video. I hope you guys had a wonderful weekend. I had a blast. I had the pleasure of hanging out with my close mommy friends. We finally got our schedules straight and got to hang out and get some an official day off of shopping and fun and having good food together. So today I'm going to be sharing some items I was able to purchase at the annual San Jose Craft Fair. If you follow me on Instagram, you would have seen the pictures I posted of some of the vendor booths. There were a variety, over a hundred uh, vendors from food, clothing, paper crafting, pottery, you name it, they had it all. So some of the business cards you see here are some of the vendors that I purchased items from. So let me show you what I did get. First up, I checked out the Cuddly Potato booth. They had a variety of uh, goodies, very kawaii, some plush toys. They had some washi tape, notebooks, and then they also had ornaments. So if you go to my Instagram, I posted a video of their acrylic ornaments and they have art on both sides, which I thought was really cool. You flip it over and there's another uh, image there of a Christmas scene and they were really cute. Um, but I did get these two pins because I collect pins and I just really love that it had the Golden Gate on it and it's this adorable character by the artist Jessica and then we have cherry blossoms here with these two unicorn uh, spuds or potatoes so that was one place. The next place that I checked out was Genevieve Santos and I follow her on Instagram and I love her stuff. She's done illustrating for children's books as well. The first item I did get was this adorable stamp with the Hawaiian girl. And if you guys have been following me, you know I love the Aloha vibes and the Hawaiian Islands. So I had to get this. I think this would be a great little stamp to use when I send snail mail and then sign my name at the end there. I also got a couple of her magnet, her little round magnet magnets here. There's two here with two cute little Hawaiian girls and they remind me of my, my daughters and they're sipping, it looks like some coconut, um, coconut there. And then there's this cute elephant and little girl illustration there. I also could not resist this cute Totoro with his boba. She drew this. It was so cute. So it's a vinyl sticker. And then I also had to get one of these beautiful ornaments that she had made. Look at that. And it has a lantern, a star lantern. And I can't wait to hang this. It's just so pretty. I think it is, it is made of acrylic. I'll take it out in just a sec here. Let's see so you can see what it looks like. On the back, she's included her business card and that is her Instagram. So this is what it looks like. You flip it over. So beautiful. I love it. I can't wait to hang that on the Christmas tree. And then I got this for my niece who loves BTS. So I'm going to show you. And uh, Genevieve loves them as well. So she decided to make stickers. And these are the BTS, B20, BT21. And I think uh, my niece will love this. She's gonna love that. But this one's really my favorite. And I just love, love, love this Hawaiian girl and a Totoro, oh my goodness. Super adorable, love it. The next item I got was from Star Mech Creations. She had a variety of these glass dome pendant necklaces and keychains. Decided to get this one. This really grabbed my eye. I love the Austrian artist uh, Gustav Glimp's artwork. And this one features the mother and daughter painting. So I thought perfect for me. So I got one of these, super adorable. Let me show you some of the food items I did get and then I'll show you more of uh, the paper items next. Next up, we went to Auntie Viv's Shave Ice and Snacks. At first, we spotted these bags and said, that looks like Chex Mix. Took a little closer look and it has horikake mix in it. Um, if you're not familiar with that, it's a Japanese little topping that you put usually on your rice or soup. And it's a, a 
seaweed, some dried salmon, and some spices. So she gave us samples and we completely changed our minds. They came in three sizes, small, medium, and large. It has a caramel salty taste. It was just perfect. These are super addictive. I love this. And we also played a game before we entered the craft. little side story here. We did a secret Santa. So there was four of us. We picked our names and the budget was like 10 to $15 gifts. So one of our friends had given this to her secret Santa who was super happy to have more than one bag of Auntie Vibs um, snack mix. So this was super cool. Another place that I was super happy to find and spot was Freshly Macarons. I forgot to get their a card. But she makes these adorable character macarons and they taste good too. So this is a chocolate flavor. We have gingerbread and snickerdoodle. Next, we checked out and tasted some of the samples of these Rice Krispie treats. They were delicious. Like I said, I love sweet. They have a variety of uh, flavors. Uh, they had churros. They had cafe mocha, which I got for my secret Santa as well. And I also got her candle set. So this was yummy i can't wait to share this with the family my secret santa got me we were doing samples at this booth san francisco zc and they make the most delicious decadent fudge and i was super happy to open up my little secret santa gift and get this fudge i cannot wait to eat little by little of this i could probably eat this um, in just a few days i love chocolate so there's caramel here at the bottom and then for my husband, I spotted he loves chili sauce. So I spotted this booth. One of my friends had called my attention to it. It's a medium hot dark heart chili. It has pecans, chilies, and garlic. Super delicious, perfect to add to your ramen and your soup, your tacos. So I'm excited to give this to him and have him try it. So let me show you the rest of the other items I did get from the craft fair. The next item I purchased was for my daughter Lil. She loves Stranger Things, so I'm going to put this in her stocking for the holidays. And um, this is from Nerdy But Still Girlies booth, and they had a variety of these greeting cards that say you are too obsessed, and they had Stranger Things, they had Game of Thrones, Star Trek, Star Wars, The Office. They just had a big variety of uh, choices, and they had necklaces, pendants, and in this one, it was a keychain. So I was excited to find it. I can't wait to get that. In the back of the card, you'll see her cute little stamp there. How adorable is that? And I think she included a coupon here for me. And they also were selling some small items. So I got four of these. Totoro bookmarks. My girls love to read, so I got them two each. These were a dollar each, so I got four of those. And then another uh, paper crafting place that I found, but she's an artist, Little Red House. I'm not sure. She might be on Etsy, but she, has, she does have a website, but I love her illustrations. She had these beautiful tote bags. And I saw this, I just love birds and a variety of birds. So it is a stitched spine notebook. I haven't even looked in to see if it has lines on it. So let's have a look and see. Little Red House, so there you go, unlined. And you can definitely write what the notebook's for, who it belongs to. And there's the stitching. I think it's super cute. This was $6 and I love the artwork with the birds. Again, she had a variety of um, items that she had there. Now I'm gonna show you a little holiday unbagging, if you will, instead of unboxing. This is from my friend Diona. So let me show you, let's have a look and see what she gave me. It's a mixed bag that uh, she made for me and my girls. So let's put the bag right here. Look here, I see some socks. So first item, how adorable. I love it. She got me some cozy socks. The girls already spotted the uh, two pretzel dip pretzels last night and devoured it. Next one, she included some Lifesaver gummies. We love gummies. 
That's for the kitties. What else do we have here? What is this? Mom Bomb. How cute. This is a white tea bath with a surprise inside. Oh, how fun. I wonder what we have in there. We'll have to try that out and see. I see or feel some little Kleenex. Always can use that. Look at that adorable sloth. How cute is that? See here, I'm trying to reach and I'm not looking. Another one. She got two of these mom bombs. I'm excited to see what's inside. I'm curious. And what is this? Llama hand lotion, hand cream in grapefruit. We'll have to smell this. This looks so adorable. Yeah. I'm going to have to smell this later, but I think it's super cute. Thank you, Diona. And then, oh, I see. She got me this beautiful beaded bracelet. Let's take that out of this bag. And the this is from Nepal, made handmade by skilled artisan in Kathmandu Valley of Nepal. How pretty is this bracelet? I love the color. She knows I love teal. Love the combination. How pretty is this? So cute, thank you so much. And what is this? We have a book, Happiness, 200 Ways to Be Creative. I love it. I'm gonna have to look through this. Let's pick one page. Being handy with tools. So there's a variety of cute little illustrations here with some creative suggestions. I love it. A lot of mindful living here. That's nice. And then, oh, what is this? Lychee infused face mask. Wow. And mango. Oh, I love those. Would really smell good. I can't wait to try this. She is so sweet. I swear these girls are the best. I mean, we really have kept in touch. We've known each other since our kids were in uh, uh, toddlers and we've kept in touch even if we live in different areas and I just love my little support group here in my area let's see what else she got me washi tape and how cute is that it's a llama llama love right there and I feel something else another llama no drama llama I love that it's a little notepad crown jewels how adorable Wait, there's one more. Oh, it just says at the bottom. I don't know if you can see it says fa la 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 llama. That is so cute. Hope you guys enjoyed this mini craft haul. I'll leave you now with a few images of the other vendor booths that I did get to see at this holiday craft fair. Thanks again for watching Karamia's Corner. See you next time. <laughs>